I saw many, many interviews that you were in and you were very closed in a lot of areas. Yeah. Um, to me, I just felt like I just wanted to get to know you a little bit more. That, it seemed like you, you pulled back as yeah. far as, hmm, should I say, put it to you like this. When I watched The Unsung mm -hmm. with you, to me, that was the most that I saw that was inside Special Ed. Right. And Ever. Yeah. yeah. Why is that? Like, why are you like that? Because this is about entertainment for me. Y'all going to stay up out my business. Mm -mm, we can't do that. Oh, no, you going to do that. Because we, how are we going to, we want to, we want to well, feel like we that, know well, you. Well, then come, come to the show, holla at me. Y'all see me on the street, holla at me. Say what's up. Keep it moving. I got friends that know me for a lifetime. But we not friends. We fans. Okay, well, y'all going to get to know me through watching the unsung, knowing about me. Why you gave them that privy I'm and nobody now. else? What you talking no, about? No, it was just one. It was, why you gave, why you? Well, I, fo I felt that it was a platform. Mm. And I felt that it was time to share a story or at least introduce myself to a generation that was without. Mm. So... I provided that knowledge. Yeah. <laughs> you funny, Ed. <laughs> nah, I'm saying that's exactly why I did it for no other reason than it was. A, it's a lot of teenagers, a lot of twenty-something year olds. I have, you know, my oldest is is in her twenties. Okay, wait, 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 wait. Oh, save, save it, All right. save it. And you know, they they may not know who Special Ed right, is. Right, right. I feel so you. So I said the best and easiest and quickest way for me to inform you. And maybe teach you something real quick. I wish you would have came here first, though. to do this unsung. I yeah. just found out and learned that you was Jamaican. Yeah. That took me by surprise. Yeah, brah, brah, brah. You know why? Because you know everybody around the way used to think you was either Trini or Guyanese. Yeah, that's racial stereotype. It is. Yeah. But that's how it is, though. Yeah, yeah see? It's everywhere. But um, that kind of took me aback. You rep with <laughs> some of my uh, Jamaican... <laughs> Hip hop, what? Nah, I'm laughing because you know it is. It's just how it is, though. Yeah, it's just how it is. You repped with some of my um, some Jamaican hip hop faves of mine, blah, blah, blah. like uh, Heavy D. Boop, boop. <laughs> Did you know Heavy D? Yes, Pepper Cannabis. Peace, Heavy D. Yes, good guy. Heavy D. He is seemed a great like guy, he was. Man. I never had the honor to meet him, but yeah. he seemed like he was really, really a sweet guy. DJ Cool Herc. Yes, respect. But um, you I, I heard that and I was like, yo, dope. You in good company. Were you were you born there? No, I was born in Brooklyn, New York. I have um the the rest of my family are from Kingston, Jamaica. I have four brothers, and they were all born in Kingston, Jamaica. And my parents obviously um my mother came here and had me. You know what I'm saying American dream. That's what you call me now. The American yep. Dream. That's what they call Is there an artist named The American Dream or Just Dream? Just Dream. Okay, I don't sing, so you call me American Dream. <laughs> so you doing the puffy now? Now you? <laughs> nah, that's just for today. Oh, just for today. Yeah, okay. 24 hours. Don't try that shit tomorrow. <laughs> right. I want to know about Young Ed. Young, young Ed. Eddie. Who calls you? Who can call you Eddie? People that went to school with me that call me Eddie in school. Only if you don't know me you from don't school, call me Eddie in school, or if we intimate. Otherwise, I don't want to hear that. You don't know me. <laughs> then it made me look at you crazy. Oh my god! Made me look at you like you truly trying to call me Eddie right now. You think that somebody would try to say it like you know trying to? Well, when well that would be the vibe to me. And if you're trying to call me Eddie, you either Italian or. You playing games like right now? You trying to trick? You trying to trick me? What are we talking about? <laughs> did you <laughs> Did you grow up in a strict household? Yes, I grew up in a strict household due to the fact that we were. Uh, I wouldn't call it the hood. I would call it inner urbana. Well, another stereotype would be that <laughs> Jamaican parents were stern. Oh yeah, that too. That's you what know. I'm saying. So we in the hood on Church Ave, Church and Thirty First. A block off of Nostrand, and the other way is jerk chicken, and you so know what night. that you know what that is. <laughs> and I'm talking about the original jerk chicken, um, yeah. So I boom. grew up in Flatbush too. Yeah, know? so <clears throat> that's where we in the middle of that. So mm -hmm. four, five boys. You know, my parents had to kind of keep us safe, keep us alive, 
and teach us lessons at the same time. So yeah, we was disciplined, and I loved it. I love it. I, I wish I could get disciplined now, cause you know, I I just feel it's important in life for children and people to to have boundaries and to understand them and follow some type of you know something. But what be civil. when you say that you wish that you could be disciplined now. Is there not like an elder or somebody that you could uh, talk to if you feel like you have a situation? Oh, I do. Oh, yeah, okay. I do. Yeah. Is your parents still here with no, us? No, I'm talking about, yeah, my parents still here. I'm talking about like a lot of kids cry and, oh, yeah, my parents did this and beat me and whoop me. Whoop, whoop. Shit, whoop me now. I don't care. Discipline me. Whatever it is, you know what I'm saying? That's a part of life. And I, I know think, there's a lot of I young ladies should watching learn to accept that. that would love to discipline you. Oh, okay. Well, <laughs> you know, at special ed music, discipline me. What, what am I to do? Oh, my God. Nah, I'm just joking. I don't, I'm not into that abusive behavior, but I'm saying as far as I think that children should understand that parents love you enough to discipline you. If they don't say anything and they don't discipline you, then... How how much care? Are but we there is about? a limit to discipline. Yeah, there's agree? a limit. Okay. Yeah, there's a limit. Absolutely, I I definitely agree. But nowadays, there's none. Right, you're right. So that's what I'm saying. Right, right, there's right. There's nothing now. There's like freedom to run rampant and do whatever you want, and they out here shooting up schools. Who does that? You like, believe when, in beating kids? When do we ever do that? I believe when it's necessary or if it's necessary, then you should. You should have the right to by nature. Hmm. That's your creation. You need to nurture your creation properly and not, you know, cause problems in the world. Being that you was the baby mm -hmm. of five, do you think you were spoiled? Spoil now. Nah. Spoil now. Nah. I'm going to be, I'm going to keep it all the way, all the way. I had to fight for everything. We've probably had some fights every day we got pictures of fights memories you know it, and Does, I look is that back, how you grew up like were you a fighter is that what type of kid you were were you i would i mean i by nature i don't know what i am i know i'm me though <laughs> i know you're not gonna play with me right i know i know what sign are you taurus okay so i would say that for me it's just life what i know you know what i'm saying so I grew up with respect. Mm. I'm from a place where of call respect. That's where I was. And born. you demanded it. We all did. Mm -hmm. So I learned the hard way. I come across wrong, disrespectful to somebody. That's we. That's ending up in another one. Mm. So you got to learn from experience and learn not to run your mouth and be reckless. A lot of these kids out here run around. It's it's like the principal. They run around and yap yap and really don't have any anything in their chest you know they don't have no heart so it's like you don't know that life to act like like that it's like it's like walking around with big gold chains in 2018 you wasn't doing that in you know such and such when it was real on the street you couldn't walk down the street with that on mm -hmm. but now you feel like oh I'm a why you think is that why you think it's that way uh you know, everybody feels entitled. I don't know. Technology, you Invincible. know, television. Yeah. Everybody got that Superman complex. Mm, especially on the internet. Sure. <laughs> so growing up in a house with five boys, yeah. I wanted to know, like, was your house like the spot? Did everybody want to go to your house? Did everybody want to chill? Or was mommy and daddy not having it? Oh, they wasn't having that. It was too much people in there already. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude, ain't nobody. But we still had friends, and then all of us had our friends individually from our own age bracket. But what was the situation like with the women, though? I mean, talking about five boys. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Like, yeah. was it crazy? Like, is it hello, hello, good night? Um, can I speak to uh all yeah, yeah, hours you know of the what, night? Though? And yeah, the phone. The phone was serious. Was, was on the wall. You know the phone on mm -hmm. the wall with the long cord. So how y'all regulated that? And it and it was it was it before we talking before two way lines. So the <laughs> phone would just be busy. That's right, it. right, right. All the time. All the time. Or you know we calling who we calling. Do all your brothers look like you? That's first off. We all <laughs> we all have similarity. You know we all have similar features between my mother and father. You know. So yeah, so in in some ways. Do y'all all get along? Um, I don't 
I don't necessarily have issues with any of my brothers. I Uh-oh. love all of them. You know what that means but, when people yeah, say that. But as in all families, we right, have right. we have brothers that don't communicate as much or may not have the nicest thing to say. Period. Just in general, you know, you're talking about a group of people. You know, like how you say four out of five people. Blah blah blah. Mm-hmm. Okay, well, there's gonna be that out of you're right. You're right. Yeah, but life is life. But I love them all to death, and I. I I, I want them all to succeed. My oldest brother, man, he's about to graduate college, his second degree. Wow, yeah, that's nice. He's going, he's going for his master's, but he's going. He's just got his second degree, mm-hmm. and he's graduating next weekend. No, like in two weeks, couple mm-hmm. weeks, August, I think. Mm-hmm. So I'll be down there, in Florida, to support him. You know, I'm proud of him. That's very and, good. And um, you know, he he's come a long way. Mm-hmm long long wait and and i've seen it so